Hello everybody and welcome back to another speed cube tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the QJ timer, uh, showing you how to connect it to your computer and record times to save later with it. So you're going to need a few things. First of all, the QJ timer comes with the timer itself and also a 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter audio cable. So you don't need to go and buy one yourself. Uh, next you'll need two AAA batteries and a small Phillips head screwdriver to install them. Lastly, you'll need a computer with a microphone port and the CCT or CalCube timer software. So the first step is installing the batteries. Uh, what you want to do is pull off the back plate of the timer and that's going to expose the uh, battery compartment. Unscrew the screw with the uh, Phillips head screwdriver and then uh, put the batteries in, minding that they're in the right orientation. Uh, screw the battery plate back on, throw the back cover on and your timer should be working as normal if you just press the power button. Uh, now once you've done that, uh, plug the 2.5 millimeter end of the audio cable into the bottom of the timer and the 3.5 millimeter end into the microphone slot of your computer and once you've done that we can move to the computer and show you how the software works. Alright so now that you have the timer all sorted out the next step is to download the CalCube timer software so you can find that at cct.cubing.net I'll put a link to it as well in the description below. Uh, once you're there all you have to do is click this link uh, then unzip the folder and you should have a folder that looks something like this. If you double click this calcubetimer.jar, uh, this screen will open up here. So this is the interface for the calcubetimer software. Uh, there's a few things you need to set up before actually using it though. So if you go down here to your speaker sort of uh, sound area, right click it and go to recording devices. Uh, these are all of the devices uh, on your computer that act as inputs. Uh, I, got, I have a few um, that uh, you probably won't have, but uh, the one that you want to be looking for is something that looks like just microphone. Uh, my one says VIA HD, but yours might not say that. Um, the important thing is that uh, it's the one that you've plugged your timer into. Now, the way you can tell uh, is if you turn your timer on, you can see now that the volume is full. This means that um, the computer is receiving an audio signal from the timer, uh, which is what it uses to, uh, to work with CCT. So obviously mine is working all fine. Uh, once you've got that set and it's set as your default device, um, you can close that and then in the CCT program, go to File, Configuration, and then up the top here, uh, number four, Stack Mat Settings. Um, and so you want to take this drop down list here, I've already done it myself, and you want to select the audio device uh, corresponding to the one we just looked at. Uh, so what the timer is plugged into, here we have VIA HD, Windows 10 Audio, all good. Um, and now these tick boxes here are also important. I'll just show you what happens if they're not ticked, which they are by default. Uh, if they're not ticked and your timer is on, uh, this is going to show up and so this is a common problem with some timers uh, it's just a, a an offset that um, it's uh, receiving an inverted signal but if you tick all these boxes um, corresponding to the 15 minutes the 165 seconds and the 165 hundredths that should fix the issue and it should be working all right so if you just test your timer now it times uh, alongside your actual timer uh, and then if you stop the time whenever I got 741 on my device and 741 on CCT it records that time uh, it makes a log of it you can have uh, sessions there's a lot of extra uh, features that you can use here which um, if you want to find more out about them you can go to the CalCube timer website and read the uh, the readme there um, but that should be all good. You should be set to, to use your timer now with the software. Thanks again for watching. I uh, hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to post them in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.